Okay, so um, switching to my talk, I will, I'll um, tell you more about XLDB, um, especially what's happening in XLDB, what has happened in the last um, 12 months, and where are we heading. So let's see, just to remind people who are here for the first time in less than a minute, we started in 2007 just by invitational workshops, relatively small, 60 people. And then um, as the community started to grow, we, um, we introduced open conference, and then we started introducing additional things like tutorials, like poster sessions, like demos, and so on. And also a satellite event. So we are now having satellite events in different, on different continents um, to, to reach out to co uh, pockets of communities working on very large databases, data, data, uh, man data management systems um, in, in other places. And um, what's the future? What else are we planning to add? Uh, we are uh, thinking very seriously about reaching out to students. There's a lot of suggestions. We should, we should um, start um, helping students uh, with understanding about um, large-scale data systems, data management. We are thinking about introducing use case days, so basically a day where we will discuss use cases, user uh, use cases, various use cases from science and industry. Perhaps hackathon, there's a lot of smart people here in this community that could probably um, take things in very unexpected ways if we, if we put them together in a room. And your suggestions counts at any time. If you have suggestions, if you have thoughts how we could um, improve this conference, how we could improve um, basically how the community works, then um, any time, let us know. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, just to remind you, um, our goals, they, were, um, they are the same since we started uh, the event. Uh, we want to exchange the information, we want to bridge the gaps between different communities, and we want to facilitate growth of technologies that are relevant to, to managing and analyzing extremely large data sets. And uh, the main focus of this conference, this whole event, is on practical aspects. You will not hear sales talks, you will not hear you know, boring, uh, long talks. We are fast-paced, short talks, in many cases just five minutes. It's all about practical aspects, lessons learned, how you did it. Even if it's an ugly way, still, it works. You have a petabyte and it works, so tell us how you, how you manage this. And it's all about data management and complex analytics. Um, that's what XLDB is about. <coughs> So moving on, um, so what's happened, what happened in the last year or so since we met last time, at least some of you were here. So we published the workshop uh, report. We, we, we always do it after we, the workshop is invitational, so it's kind of closed. So that's why we, we try to write about it and publish. So um, we have a report from last workshop. We talked about healthcare, biology, um, file system versus databases. We talked about cloud computing and, and many other things. So I hope you read it. We also published the videos. Um, since I think two conferences, we, we are publishing videos from the conference. That's probably one of the reasons why there's a little bit less people coming, because they have this luxury of just watching it whenever they want. And if you look at the most popular videos, um, there's a clear picture. So Mike Stonebreaker is definitely number one. You can see it's like over 1,000 views. And <clears throat> and then in um, overall, we got, um, we got um, over 10,000 views in the last 12 months, which is actually much higher than I expected, to be honest. So people do watch it. But if I look closely, there's, there are no science talks here. So all the talks that people watch on YouTube, it's, it's primarily industry, Mike Stonebreaker, more industry, Facebook, and, and all that. And I started wondering why, so I looked at the bottom. And then I looked at this picture, this is one of the science talks, and that kind of explains why people don't click on it, right? I mean, just... <laughs> Look at the slides. <clears throat> so I don't know. But anyway, clearly people are watching more um, industrial talks than, than science talks. Um, we also had a workshop at CERN. So uh, we wanted to, um, to basically um, have a better dialogue with LHC community. And um, so we had a workshop at CERN back in May a few months ago. This is one of those satellite events I mentioned earlier. So many thanks for the organizers, especially Dirk. He's here somewhere in the room. And um, let's see. So next satellite workshops. So just to remind you, we started those satellite workshops back in 2011. So we went to Europe. Then we went to China. Then we went back to Europe. Um, and then after talking to many people, uh, I think next year we will go to Brazil. There are many good reasons to, to, to communicate with, with South America people. 
We haven't been there yet. <clears throat> And then, um, having said this, I mean, I can tell you that there's huge interest in both Europe and Asia to organize satellite event. Actually, organize it every year. So for those of you who are disappointed from Europe and, and China, I, I, I may have a solution. And I will, I will mention it um, in a couple of slides. <clears throat> so um, we have a logo for the next workshop. Uh, we have uh, planned dates. If you can think of any uh, major collisions with many, any, any events that we should avoid, then those dates can still be changed, but we would like to kind of fix them in the next week or two. And we have the mailing, uh, mailing list if you are interested in, in, in providing suggestions, if you have um, local connections in um, Argentina, for example. We have good connections in, in both Brazil and, and Chile, but not in Argentina. So, so we are very interested in, in hearing from you who we should invite, both from industry and and academia and science. Um, <clears throat> so moving on, last year we suggested that uh, perhaps we should start some kind of consortium to, um, to, um, to fund uh, related XLDB activities. So we have the XLDB events um, every year, but there are many, many activities that the community is suggesting, in particular collecting use cases. This would be super useful for everyone as far as we can we can, we can hear from you and, and, and think ourselves. So, so over uh, 15 companies responded and we started looking into this in more details. So the first idea was consortium, but then quickly we learned from our lawyers that, hey, Slack cannot be, really, Slack cannot be a member of this consortium. So the industrial partner said, no, this really won't work. If you can't be a member of this consortium, then it's a non-starter. So we were then thinking about getting the funds from all those partners through gifts. But again, we learned from their lawyers that gifting is kind of hard. They have a special departments for handling the gifts, and it just won't work. So maybe we want to outsource running the consortium. We found this, this place, open group, that provide, provided services for running consortium for, other, for, for someone else. Unfortunately, when we started talking to their uh, management, they said, no, we're just about to, to, to stop this service. So that didn't work. So the current idea is just, just to do CRADAS, which is Cooperative Research and Development Agreement. And <clears throat> there are two options. We can do individual CRADAS, or we can do multi-partner CRADA. And because of the nature of our work, multi-partner works much better, because there's no easy way to divide uh, the work into individual um, Create us. Um, so we are. So this is complicated because you know we are talking to Slack lawyers, Stanford lawyers, DOE lawyers, Chevron lawyers, eBay lawyers, Exxon lawyers, and you know ten other companies. So that's complicated. So you can imagine, and we are still working on it. So basically, the bottom line is, it's kind of disappointingly slow. We were hoping to actually have something to announce here at this conference and something working. Uh, we still don't have it, but we are hopeful that this will happen, hopefully much sooner than the next conference. Let's see, so the use cases. So as far as we can tell based on the feedback, everyone believes that collecting, documenting use cases from various communities, finding commonalities, is super useful for everyone. <clears throat> However, um, nobody wants to really provide those use cases because it takes some time. So we try to, um, so we open the wiki page, which is, which is really lightweight. You just spend five, 10 minutes, and you document one small piece of a use case, and maybe come back next month and do it again on uh, some other part. Um, so, so that's the, the idea. We opened this, this, this wiki back in April. And so far, we had many thousands of spammers, trust me, uh, and no real use cases. Um, so um, however, we have some plans, actually a couple of plans, how to make it happen. And we also have some funds from Moon Foundation to bootstrap this work. They, they believe, as everyone else, that this is super important. So thank you to those from Moon Foundation who, who are supporting it. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll mention in a couple of slides um, at least one of those plans. So the next conference, next exit, the main conference. Um, so we are uh, actually thinking about switching to springs instead of fall uh, for several reasons. One of the reasons is that a lot of people, especially from academia, seems to have many collisions because the school year just starts. So that prevents them from coming to those events. Also, this is the end of the fiscal year for government, and especially now the getting the funds to travel in the government is complex, is extremely complicated, and having the conference at the end of the fiscal year is, is complicating things further. So 
We haven't decided for sure. We will have a poll. We will ask you through the poll and the whole community, and then we will, we will see what the community thinks. Um, so if we switch to spring, we definitely won't be able to have the conference in, in um, the coming springs, because that's way too close. It takes a long time to actually come up with, with the agenda, with topics, with good speakers, and all that. So we would probably have the conference after next year, the spring after. So what about the next year? What would happen next year? So we already have one satellite event, so that would be an opportunity to have, to have the second satellite event, either in Asia or in Europe. And then uh, we would probably have some energy then left to do the, um, the workshop and think about the future of XLDB strategically. So for example, should we think about strategic collaborations like with RDA, for example, or, or some other places? Um, how should we involve students? How should we go about the use cases, hackathon, and, and all those things that were on our minds for a long time, but we just don't have cycles to, to push them forward and make them happen fast. Uh, and we would have, have, have time to actually get those three really off the ground. <clears throat> so the idea about the use cases that I mentioned. So I don't know how many of you would like it. I, I definitely know some people who already asked me, hey, can you give us a free pass and then we will have a better chances of actually coming to the conference because of the approval process. So I told them, sure, just give us a use case and you will get a free pass. And then the idea started basically, why don't we do it for everyone? So this would basically, hopefully, trigger more use cases. So if you are interested in saving two, three hundred dollars, because that's what the conference usually costs, um, submit a use case, and we will make sure that it's a, it's a decent use case. You know, don't submit just one line because obviously that doesn't count that much. But if you submit a reasonable use case, we will give you a free pass for the next event, whatever it is. Um, we can give you a free pass to Rio if you want, although you won't get tutorial pass because we don't do tutorials at the satellite events. And then also I mentioned the use case day. So the idea would be if we have enough use cases, then we would, we would bring together the best experts we can find in the community. We would bring together all those people who submitted use cases, and we would talk about those use cases. So the, you would basically have access to the best experts in the community, and we would be discussing your use case and suggesting how to solve it and, and so on. So that might be another way to kind of um, prompt people to submit use cases. So um, that's one of the ideas. The second one um, is um, just going to your places and extracting information from you, as long as you are willing to host someone from the XLDB community for two, three days. All right, um, so um, every year I, um, I tell people what we had through the, uh, through the survey. Um, and um, the favorite parts after the last conference, people loved tutorials. People really liked the discussion panels, lightning talks, they liked them every year. There was a suggestion to actually be more provocative uh, at those lightning talks. People like the science talk. This actually, I don't see that message when I look at YouTube, so there's something interesting here. But again, people who are providing feedback like the science talks. Poster sessions, the cross-section between science and industry, um, the fact that this is a single track, we are not breaking the, um, the community into groups, people liked it. Uh, the practical approaches, it's basically similar to, to what we were hearing in the past. Some people are very explicit, they really loved my Mike Stonebreaker's perspective. We will have a talk by him this year again. Um, and they like the location, so we still are here in the same place as last year. The least favorite parts, not enough power um, in this auditorium. Um, vendor talks. Uh, we had a couple of, or one platinum um, talk um, demos. Uh, yes, we really. Um, didn't give enough exposures to demos last year. They were, for the first time, they were kind of in the corner, they were lost in the noise, and we totally realized after the event. And we are improving that. <clears throat> but there were many comments like, I liked everything, which is really reassuring. So what have we missed? What, what did we overrepresent? Um, some people said, um, enough of bio. Uh, some people said, um, the HEP and physics um, were missing. Yes, we realized this, but there's no time to cover every science every year. So we are trying to reach out to different pockets every year and focus just on a subset. <clears throat> um, a lot of people thought that this was just well balanced and nothing to improve. 
And I liked actually the last comment. Um, it's just a two-day conference, so you can't cover everything. And, um, so we had a few targeted questions. Tutorials, everyone thought they went really perfectly. Demos, need improvement? Yes, definitely. Hardware talks, we introduced them for the very first time last year. And the, the response was from terrible to great and everything in between. So after talking to my organizing committee, we, we decided to, to, to have hardware talk again this year, but from a slightly different perspective. So it will be much more practical, much more um, related to, to very large data sets. So this will be related to, um, to, um, to setting large clusters. Um, and you will love this talk, trust me, I know the speaker, and um, it's, worth, it's worth hearing. Uh, people like dinner, so we will have the same style of dinner as last year, and the location was, was fine. Um, the future wish list, um, so the presenters should um, introduce themselves, and this is especially true for lightning talks, because they are very fast paced, people like completely, some people forget to introduce themselves or the topic, and we are not introducing the speakers. So, so we've asked all the lightning talk speakers, please in, spend like, you know, out of this five minute um, time that we give you, um, just spend 10, 15 seconds trying to introduce your topic, your project, yourself. And then um, the location, some people got lost, not many, but still a few, so we had a bus this year and hopefully um, it was better, the signage, there were more signs as far as I know, and, and, the, and the parking was, was located closer. <clears throat> uh, let's see, and, and the same sentiments as before, um, don't fix it if it's not broken. So um, we actually are listening to this and um, now I'll tell you about the, the, the current XLDB, and we are really trying to keep the same style. We are not changing uh, much. So uh, most things are unchanged. The venue, the single track, lightning talks, demos, posters. Um, just a reminder, um, we have the voting system for the lightning talks, and then the best lightning talks uh, will have a longer slot next year. Um, still the same focus, still the same mix. We are videotaping and as long as the speakers will let us, we will publish on YouTube. Um, lots of time to socialize, dinner, long coffee breaks and so on. We have the workshop after, after the event, invitational workshop, and we will do a survey to get in, uh, feedback from you. <clears throat> we are definitely improving the demos. Uh, we have no platinum sponsor talks this year, as, as you asked. Uh, we asked the Lightning Talk speakers to introduce themselves and I did it just a moment ago. And then we honestly added as much power here as humanly possible. I spent over one hour talking to you know, people here yesterday in addition to all those emails. And we were even talking about the generator to give you more power. So, you know, honestly. So I think not every seat have power, but I think there's enough. So just make sure that you share and I think you will be fine. <clears throat> So this is the breakdown um, this year, just by looking at the registration. Um, so 50% of the people are from industry. Um, science, 15%, academia, 15 vendors, 15 and others. By others, I usually mean um, funding, people funding, so, so the government and, and VCs. Comparing to last year, we have many fewer people from science. This is particularly related to the funding for travel uh, issues in, in the government. More people from academia um, and, and similar in, in other areas. Um, the, the, um, we have more people from VC world actually this year, quite a few more. So quickly logistics, we have the Slack tour um, tomorrow after lunch. Um, capacity is limited, there is a sign up sheet in the registration area, so if you are interested make sure you sign up early. There's no official Slack tour, but you are kind of in the middle of the of the uh, of, of Stanford. You are in the middle of the Stanford. So um, let's see. So this is the parking lot where we suggested you should park, and um, this is the visitor center. We are uh, we are here. So it's basically on your way from the parking to here, and there is a couple of uh, things worth visiting. Um, so there's the Hoover Tower and there's the uh, Memorial Church. So it's it's really close. It's a short walk. Um, 10 minute walk or less from here. Uh, the dinner, it's the same place where we have the uh, lunch, so basically the green area here. 
um, six to eight, uh, non-seated, make sure you display your badge. This is how we recognize that we, you actually paid for dinner. We have a way to, to actually recognize those badges. And just a few miscellaneous things. We will try to uh, publish slides as soon as possible this week. Uh, videos will be published on YouTube in, in a month after the conference ends. Um, we will publish the report from the workshop. Please wear your, um, your tag all the time. Um, this, there are actually two wireless um, here, so you can connect to Stanford with no password or this dedicated one for us. Um, I think there should be enough power for everyone. Um, this auditorium is not full, so we should be fine this year. Um, let's see, obvious things, no sitting in the aisles and no power cords running through the aisles and uh, make sure you turn off your cell phones and if you want, tweet about uh, XLDB. And um, I'd like to thank you, the organizing committee. They helped me, every single person in different ways with connections, with, with um, advice and so on. Um, and I'd like to thank you, the sponsors. Without sponsors, the conference would still be here, but the food would be very different. We can only spend like $14 <laughs> per person per day on food. So imagine what we could give you. Oh, and you will pay like $100 for dinner if you wanted to come. So, so thank you for the sponsors. And, um, and then now the program. So I will, I will just tell you very briefly about the sponsors. Uh, the, um, uh, the program. So we start with, with, two, uh, with two discussion panels. Um, so one about the, the um, realizing big projects and the second big uh, buy versus build. So why most people tend to, um, tend to uh, rebuild instead of um, buying off the shelf. And then <coughs> we have the lightning talk session, uh, the, the thought provoking uh, um, mic sound breaker. So that will be um, towards the end of the day. And then uh, genomics, one talk from genomics. And then Macy's, I'm not sure why we labeled it genomic, so sorry about that, just noticed. And then um, tomorrow we have um, oil and gas and then scaling MySQL for, for, for web and, and, and beyond. And then the, the hardware talk, followed by the retail. Um, so the retail is broken into two parts. So there's the Macy's um, today towards the end of the day, and then the second part is tomorrow. This is based on the availability of the speakers. Obviously, you would like to cluster it together, but it was impossible. And then uh, we end the conference with the set of lightning talks and then the, um, the presentation uh, from about the, um, the big data for, uh, for Wall Street. So um, I don't know, are there any questions about the logistics, the conference, the XLDB, uh, before we go into the first um, session? All right, so I will turn the floor to Anders then.